Today is October 1st, on which we commemorate Remigius, Bishop of Rhymes. In the 5th century AD, the Western Roman Empire was rotting with corruption and decadence from within, and assaulted by so-called barbarian tribes from without. These Germanic tribes were not nearly so barbaric as the Romans imagined, and while they certainly came from pagan roots, most had adopted Arianism, a heretical form of Christianity that the Church had battled for decades. The creedal Christianity of the Church in Rome had, of course, become heavily associated with the Empire, and so was looked upon with suspicion by the Germans. When the Empire finally disintegrated in AD 476, the political and military force which had held Western Europe together was gone, leaving only the ever-shifting patchwork of tribal kingdoms. To prevent the continent from descending into chaos, the Church of Rome stepped into the power void. Yet to truly wield this power and bring some kind of unity and peace, the Church would have to win allies among the Germanic tribes. The Franks were perhaps the most powerful of the German tribes, made so by their king, Clovis, who had recently united several Frankish factions and achieved alliances with other influential groups. While Clovis was an Arian, he was surrounded by Roman Christians, most importantly his wife Clotilde, who persuaded him to give Remigius, the Roman bishop of Rhymes, land to build churches and freedom to preach in his kingdom. Over the years, the queen and the bishop gained more and more influence over the king, until in AD 496, on the eve of battle, Clovis prayed, promising God to convert if he was victorious. He held true to his promise and was baptized by Remigius on Christmas Day, along with 3,000 of his army. Remigius would continue to work as a missionary to the Franks for the remainder of his life, leaving behind him the legacy of the first great Christian kingdom of Western Europe. Let us pray. O oh God, by the teaching of your faithful servant and bishop Remigius, you turned the nation of the Franks from vain idolatry to the worship of you, the true and living God, in the fullness of the Catholic faith. Grant that we who glory in the name of Christian may show forth our faith in worthy deeds, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you.